If you've been injured on the job in West Virginia, stay tuned for some important information. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Michael J. Swanson. Michael is the author of How David Beats Goliath and is the CEO of Advocate Capital. And now, here's Michael. So Tim, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. So I've learned recently that laws are different from state to state in many areas, but especially in West Virginia in the area of workers' protection. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Um, unlike um, most states, West Virginia has an exception to immunity to, for employers under workers' compensation. Mm. Uh, usually, if you're hurt on the job, you cannot sue your employer. You're stuck with workers' comp. Mm. And a workers' compensation claim doesn't provide uh, a full remedy for your loss. You don't get your full wages. Mm. You don't get uh, uh, a remedy for pain and suffering. You don't get a remedy for your spouse and the change in their life. In West Virginia, uh, there's an exception that if you can show that the employer knowingly exposed you to an unsafe condition that was a violation of a workplace safety regulation or statute, mm -hmm. you can actually take them into court in front of a jury and recover full damages. Wow. So that's a very, very important, we think it's a safety protection for these workers. Yeah. Uh, in most states, uh, if you're only going to have to pay a small worker's compensation claim, uh, that's a, a lot different than if you realize if you knowingly injure someone that you're going to have to pay them the full measure of their damages. It certainly is a, uh, an incentive for companies to follow the OSHA and the MSHA workplace safety uh, rules and regulations. Wow, that just makes such such common sense. So, there, so most states, you, you, if your employer is just negligent and uh, exposes you to danger, um, they're not liable for that. They would they would have they would be liable through the workers' compensation system. But once again, what usually you find is if someone's injured on the job, um, uh, more times than not, you'll find that someone cut a corner mm -hmm. uh, on a safety precaution. Right. And in most states, this is what's, what's really bad about it. In most states, even if the employer knew they were violating a safety statute, you're stuck with workers' comp. Wow. In West Virginia, if the employer knew what was going on right. and still exposed you, you can hold them accountable in court. So it's not just, it's not just for the negligence. A negligence case is still going to be handled by workers' compensation. Oh, I see. But in these situations where uh, there's a safety violation and the company knows it exists, uh, you can hold them accountable. Wow. Uh, and that's not the only remedy that workers have up here in West Virginia. Uh, in West Virginia, if there's another party on the work site, another company, and they could have, uh, they had a duty to inspect or to make sure the place is safe, mm -hmm. uh, you can hold them accountable in a negligence Good. claim. Good. In some states, you can't do that. Mm. So uh, we do have that ability in West Virginia. That is extremely important in West Virginia right now. Yeah. We have, uh, we're in the midst of an oil and gas boom. And so these out-of-state workers, uh, there's just not enough workers here in West Virginia mm -hmm. to, to man these oil and gas rigs. So from the south and southwestern part of our country, these companies are coming up here and they're uh, producing the oil and gas. And there's multiple employers on the same oil and gas site. Ah. And, uh, so when there's an injury, uh, you really need to know something about West Virginia law. And, th and these, these workers go back home, and their state's laws aren't necessarily the same laws we have here in West Virginia. Mm. The shame of it is some of them don't even, don't even understand they need to, to talk to someone in West Virginia about rights they may have because they were injured here. Wow. They yeah. don't even realize they have because they're used to working down in Texas or Oklahoma or Louisiana. Ah. Same thing for lawyers. Uh, someone walks in your door, and what might just be a workers' compensation claim in Texas uh, is a substantial claim in West Virginia. In fact, we just resolved the case for a worker, a Texas uh, gas well worker, and a couple of lawyers thought it was simply a workers' compensation claim. A lawyer in Texas reached out to us. We co-counseled with that lawyer, and we just resolved that case for a substantial seven-figure uh, settlement for that family, uh, which probably was one of the nicest uh, experiences that I've had in the last uh, few years practicing law because we found out that the worker uh, was having to live in a house that his family kind of gave him to live in. He had no, no income. He was in a horrible section of Houston. Mm. And there was, uh, a, there was drug dealing going on. The night before we settled the case, there were 24 gunshots at a house down the street. Wow. So 
So we got the case resolved and 24 hours later, uh, we were able to be on the phone with a real estate agent uh, in a town a little bit further uh, away where the, actually the fellow had grown up. Mm -hmm. He and his family were about to move into or purchase a wonderfully safe home in a wonderful neighborhood. Wow. And uh, you know, thankfully, they, you know, someone took the time to uh, ask the question, right. is there something we can do for him in West Virginia? Wow. Wow, that's so important. So if you're a lawyer watching this and you have someone who's been injured in West Virginia came back to your state, I think you should call Tim Bailey. Tim, if somebody wanted to reach you, how would they do that? Of course, we have a website, www.baileyjavenscarter.com, and the 800 number is 800-497-0234. Great. Great information today, uh, Tim. Thanks for the important work you do to help people all across the country. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Send your questions or comments to Michael at mike at howdavidbeatsgoliath.com.